Hello everyone and welcome to Sterling Lee Fine Art My Artistic Week vlog. This is vlog number and this has been My Artistic Week. Hello everyone and how are we today? 17th of October 2021 it's absolutely awful outside chucking it down the rain miserable but anyway it's october so you know what are you going to do that's what it's like in the uk leaves are coming down days are getting shorter nights are getting longer yeah. but it is what it is so this week what's been happening artistically this week has been um, it's been quite good it's been quite a revelation uh, and what i wanted to do this week was i was just going to talk you through what i've created because you know I'm an artist and you like to watch how things work and how it all takes place and whatever so I thought that'd be a good idea rather than me just waffling on indiscriminately about this and that so the first piece my pedigree chums is this little beauty that I've been working on for a few weeks now um I titled it tangled up in blue after the um wonderful Bob Dylan track and hopefully you can just see because I've just about got the light right and I hope did I say that properly? I don't think I did, did I? Just, I've got the light right. Can you see the shimmer on that dress? That is blue metal fog. I've also got it coming just down there and just up there as well. But you can't quite catch that in this light. A little bit there, a little bit. So this week, um, that's been progressed to completion. Um, I've worked on all of the flesh tones and got the arms and the hands right. Should be a bit of a close up there, so you can see you know, the hands and all the hair and such. Did the hair, love painting hair, catching the light and whatnot. So you got that, all that finished, and I thought I'd finished it. And there was a little piece down here where the dress had got a fold and it just came out there. And um, I put that on the art group page that I'm on. Um, Shout out to uh, Tracy Lazard. Um and um, it just wasn't looking right. And uh, and uh, Tracy, my fantastic mentor, uh, art coach, whatever, she um, she said that just there's just something about it doesn't quite look right. So I had to modify it. So modifying that because that was actually the metal flake involved me actually getting a bit of sandpaper. Sandpaper? Can you believe that? sandpaper on oil painting so because this stuff will actually come off with the glue or away from the glue if you are a little bit abusive with it you can actually if you're careful just remove part of it with sticky tape which i did then i just sanded over the area roughly where it was and um my arm's aching there do you mind going to put it down and um yeah i uh, i managed to get quite a bit of the the blue flake off International sign for removing blue flag, by the way. Um, and uh, the base, the back part, I'll just pick it up again now, my arms out of rest. I just, this piece here, all that is in acrylic paint. So all this dries very, very quickly. All the flesh tones and the hair, those are all in oil paints. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, so the fact that I was in acrylic, I could, I could just mix the colour again, get it blended to exactly how I wanted it for the blue background. And I was able to paint over all of the and there's a the lovely baller kicking in wonderful um you can tell how small my studio is and we're in the ballroom and um yeah i was managed to, managed to get the color blended just right and uh paint it back over and it looks looks like it should do it looks fine so um there we go i'll tell you what i'll do so you can also get an idea of how that was constructed i'll um i'll drop a reference in uh, the actual reference from the uh, lovely ballerina Jade Wallace, uh, whose image I use for that. And um, here it is. Yeah. Uh, and as you'll see, that image was black and white. So I had to transfer that from a black and white image into a colored image, which is uh, fine. Because once you get the base um, flesh tone, you can just move it up and down depending on where the light's fallen on the body and not. So that was our piece and I'm really pleased that that's come out. That's, a, that's, a, that's really, um, yeah, I really like that. Anyway, on to uh, 
the other um, inspirational good stuff about this week. Some years ago, um, I did a group of pencil drawings and uh, one I will show you now. Um, and what this was, before I bring it into full view, can you bear the tension? Um, was uh, just a, a pencil drawing of a lady in like a kimono come sort of a dressing gown, silk dressing gown, and um, nice piece, quite liked it. Never sold it, obviously, because I've still got it. And um, there's a few of them, I've got a few. And I was inspired by another artist that I saw earlier this week, her name is Scouts at the moment, not important. Um, and she does a lot of gold leaf on uh, pencil works. I had a little bit of a brainwave. And I came up with this. There we go. So well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just get rid of the nasty backlight so as we can see it a little bit better. So it's going to go a little bit dark maybe. Oh. Whee. So now, <coughs> if I show it now, it should be look a bit better. So lots of reflection because there's glass in front of it. But I've added the gold leaf to this and um, I've also now retitled it. Um, I call it first world problems because she obviously looks, you know, miserable and depressed. Lots on her mind and uh, she's dripping in gold. So yeah, quite like that. I think that's, that's really made the, the graphite image absolutely pop, um, which is lovely. Um, and also, I've got, that was the first one, is a test. And I was so pleased with that one that I did a, another few more. This one, um, Fantastic. I know I've painted them, I'm allowed to say. Um, yeah, so that piece, uh, I've now retitled it as, it was called Simmer Down and Pucker Up, which is a line from an Arctic Monkeys track. I do like to live, use lines of uh, music. But I've now called it Cross My Heart and Hope to Die, because the cross actually centres on where a heart would be. And uh, I'll leave it up to the viewer to decide whether the centre's coming towards you or going away from it. And... Um, little bit of a drip of the gold there which I thought was quite uh, quite good because um, although she looks pretty perfect um, nothing ever is and that little drip of gold just shows you that uh, nothing is ever what it quite what it seems and um, she looks gorgeous but uh, you wouldn't trust her at all would you well I wouldn't know heartbreaker but yeah that's that piece Again, I'm very pleased that's come out really well. And the last one, uh, although I did four, um, haven't got enough room. I see you there to put all four on the floor because I'll have on one. This piece uh, I really like. And um, there we go. I've retitled this French Curves. She's very curvy. And I actually use, use my own old set of uh, Draftsman's French Curves to come with the curves behind her. So yeah, I thought the two went well together. Another piece. Look at that. Look at that. How that gold just goes. Bing. And it, the thing that it does, especially with this little piece here, and just that little bit of gold there. That bit of gold there just really makes the whole image just stand off the paper. Now what I could have done was took them all apart again, taken the glass out, reassembled them and showed them to you now but um, you wouldn't have had the reflections on there and you would have seen the gold better but it's such a faff to actually look at that, the way that shimmers it's such a faff to do that, um, that I'm very sorry but I didn't do it so what I'm going to do with those is that they are all going to go um, well the, uh, the pencil pieces are, they're going to go on my stand for my first art show in December uh, coming to you from the uh, Shrewsbury Arms um, which is not far up the road from me um, in uh, just outside of Utox, down between Utox and Abbots Bromley and um, that should be uh, very interesting because it's the first one that I've done and I plan to do um, quite a few of them next year so this week I'll have myself a banner um, from a very famous um, printing, international printing organisation, begins with a V, or the huge guess. Uh, and um, to save on the packing, I even got myself a free t shirt. 
So I've got a Sterling Lee Fine Art T-shirt <laughs> coming, um, so I'll be able to wear that so people know who I am. And uh, yeah, I've got that sorted. Um, just had to get myself a card machine now because, you know, hardly anyone carries cash anymore. And <clears throat> as I've been promising now for the last couple of weeks, and you won't be able to see it's all really light on them, but I'm going to show you anyway, just to show you that I actually do do what I say I'm going to do. Um, the card pieces, but the card pieces, can you make any of that out at all? Or oh, you can just about, just under my finger there, you can just about catch her head. And she's sitting facing the way to go back to you. And what you're going to have there is a nice lady just sitting here, perched on a stool there, and then all the way down there and all down there, there's going to be a gold gold dress and she's going to have there's going to be a panel coming down there just in gold a panel coming down there just in gold then all this all on the back and all down there it's going to be all patterned and there won't be any outline at all you just have gold leaf pattern leaf gold leaf and it will look spectacular it will i promise you it will trust me it will look amazing so yeah so that's um that's for this week, and the last thing to say, because long you're all dying to know, is I had a date for the studio to be built. Yay! Fantastic! So I've actually got a date now in November for the foundation to be laid. It's about the, uh, I think it's the 8th. And um, then the, because um, I'm looking at here, because it's going to be built just there. Um, so it's going to be um, built on around about the 20th of November. So that's obviously a few videos away. Um, but um, I'll give you updates uh, and show you what's going on outside as it happens. Anyway, that's been my artistic week. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Give me some likes if you watch, please. Thumbs up, tick, anything, you know, just give me some positive feedback, hopefully. Um, just so as I can keep doing what I'm doing, just, you know, keeps me with the needle. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I used to do. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this and... Um, yeah, follow me elsewhere, follow me all over the place, and uh, all the links will be after this. Thank you.